watching KETK Today with Tyler Henderson, Raina Revel, and meteorologist Andrew Samet. Welcome back in everyone. Here is a look at Longview with our Skyview camera brought to you by the Montour Law Firm. We are seeing overcast skies right now. Current temperature in Longview sitting at 56 degrees with a southeast wind at 6 miles per hour. So we do have a light breeze for us this morning. Now for our day today, we are going to climb into the upper 60s out there. So it will be a bit warmer than yesterday. The clouds should be a bit thinner, so the sun will be able to filter through them a bit more. And with the continued southerly wind, we should warm up quite nicely today. Now heading into Sunday, that's when we start to have a more heavy rain event and we do have a level two out of four risk of flash flooding out there for the eastern two thirds of our area from Jacksonville uh, down to Lufkin up to Mineola Sulphur Springs and eastward to the Louisiana state line is where we have our best chance of flash flooding again for the day on Sunday. Here's a look at what we have though over the next couple of days. We'll see a few scattered showers through the rest of our day on Friday into Friday night. And again, we'll repeat that process on Saturday. Most of the day is going to be dry outside of a few showers. Shower chances though should increase by Saturday evening and then it's the overnight hours Saturday into Sunday when the rain will really pick up here 6 a.m. We're going to see a broken line of heavy rain and thunderstorms start to move through our area and this rain will be quite heavy at times. There may be some additional showers out ahead of it. Can't rule out some gusty winds up to 40 to 50 miles per hour with some of the strongest thunderstorm activity, but it should stay below severe limits and we'll see that heavy rain continue into much of the day on Sunday. Your seven day forecast looks like this. We are going to see those mild temperatures continue through Christmas Eve, but then we're turning cooler into next week. We'll finally feel like winter out there as we head towards next week and we'll even see some morning freezes again by Tuesday, Wednesday and on Thursday. So by Christmas Day, we'll finally feel like Christmas out there.